received some one-time dollars from our state and we were very committed in trying to make an impact with those dollars. And so it's really a way to move our system forward in a new trajectory in a, a pretty rapid way. It's going great. The kids are really enjoying the lessons. But in addition to them enjoying the lessons, their sentence building skills are becoming stronger and it's so great to see them um, thrive. So this all started from teachers telling me that they felt unsure of themselves in two areas, in designated ELD and in writing. They didn't feel like they had a structure for either of them. So we kind of combined those two areas to create a designated ELD structure for our Castlemont teachers that would also reinforce the structures of writing. It's helping our emerging bilingual students become proficient writers, which we know is really the highest level of English proficiency because you need to be able to think it, to say it before you can even write it. And so we're demonstrating our English mastery through writing in the different content areas. In our classroom today, we were building a sentence patterning chart based off of a, a reading about a dog's day. We're going to compare that with a reading from a cat's day. We are building sentences, making sure each sentence has adjectives, has adverbs in addition to the nouns and the verbs that our sentences always need. A big part of the grant was sending me to the Thinking Maps writing training, which has not yet happened, but it will happen next year. So I have writing with design under my belt, um, which is great with uh, English language learners, but this is a Thinking Maps school. And so it's a great way to take what the teachers already have under the belt, their great strategies, and aligning it to our writing. So that's a big portion of the grant. Other things are materials that we need in the classroom, sentence strips, markers, Legos for our sentence rearranging. We have an ELD program already, but we're making it stronger and really focusing on the needs of our students, um, which of course the program that came with, with Benchmark um, has many strengths, but it wasn't meeting our kids' needs the way that we are able to now. The students want to write because they're so impressed with themselves, engaged in it, they're having fun with the activities, but really they, they feel like writers. So they'll say things like, oh, I was never a writer before, but now I'm really good at it. We know that the curriculum that comes in a shrink wrap is no longer going to address the needs of our students. And so giving our teachers a baseline of curriculum and then opportunity to innovate is really where we think teaching and learning needs to go.